Right, okay, I'm having a go at creating a moving bed filter. Got some K1 micro in a tub. I drilled holes for suckers, air holes, and air holes underneath as well. So the water can be sucked in there at the bottom, filtered through the media, and the bubbles and the filtered water comes out the top. In theory, this will apparently take weeks to get going, but I'll give you an update in just a few seconds. So this is for the moving bed filter. It's now in place. This took two minutes to put in. There she is. It's normal apparently to have no movement whatsoever for maybe the first couple of weeks. But I'll keep you updated and I'll let you know how long it's been. It's basically an old food container upside down. Which makes it easier. I haven't put an air stone on there yet, but I think an air stone might make it go even better. And trial and error with that one. I've put the holes around the side and exit holes on the top. So in theory I could bury this orange bit underneath the sand so that's something I might do. Hopefully that'll be a nice moving bed filter in a couple of weeks. Absolute ammonia killer. Okay, so three days in, nothing seems to be happening yet. It's obviously quite a slow process. I know I've overfilled this, they generally say about 80%, some people say even less. I will be back in a short while, at about a week. Okay, so here I am, a week in. There appears to be no movement really, whatsoever, so I don't know if this is the best setup really. Very slow process so far, but as long as it starts working, in time I'll be happy. So that's one week, seven days. Okay, so we're now at day eight. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but I've just swapped my pump over. So I've now put a faster pump in there. I have a feeling this is gonna speed the process up. Can already see a little bit more movement, a little bit of tumbling at the bottom there. So I have a feeling that's going to be a game changer. I think that'll speed the process up. So I've got a bigger pump than I originally had. A lot more flow through there. So hopefully, yeah, that's going to get things cracking. I'll update you again soon. Definitely moving more already. I should have done this in the first place. So guys, if you're gonna make one of these, make sure you've got a decent pump on it. Apparently, once it's up and running, according to the pond guru, you need very little air. But just to get this thing cracking, turn it up a little bit. Should do the job. Okay, so here's the movement on day nine. Uh, quite a bit of activity. And as an added bonus, uh, there's quite a lot of surface area agitation, which is great for oxygenating the water. 
never really had this much when I did it as a bubbler so I don't know if it's the bigger bubbles it certainly seems to be agitating the water quite a lot which is great you can see the movement's mainly at the back here but I can't see it being very long before it's moving really well excellent Okay, so day 10, I've done what's been advised by the Pond Guru and I've reduced the amount of K1 media to about 60% and there's a heck of a lot more movement there. So I believe that it'll fully get working shortly. I've partially submerged the orange bottom so that you can't really see much. There's still not as much movement around the back, but I fully believe that that will all start to move in time when the media matures. So I'm overall really happy with the look of that. The air that it's creating, the movement on the surface. And then once it's all uh, matured, I'll probably swap it over with the, the more gentle pump so that it's, it's not turning over so quickly. So there you go. I will just add that the uh, moving bed is not the only filtration I have in this system. Um, I do have a Fluval 305 with the standard stuff in there. But I also have a Eheim Professional 3 uh, limited edition thing. Can't really see much there, I'll just pop the light on. The EIM Professional 3 filter contains all my good filtration, including the Bio Home Ultra. I would like to get some Ultimate um, soon. That's the best view I can give you of it. The Pond Guru always recommends um, putting that filter media at the top. After all your sponges and stuff in the bottom to cut out all the dirt and bits of debris so that it's nice clean water by the time it hits the, the quality media. So that's it then. The K1 Micro that I've mentioned in this video and also the Bio Home Ultra and Bio Home Ultimate can be purchased from the Pond Guru on YouTube and Tyne Valley Aquatics on eBay.